I'm going to do an example of regression from the homework. Uh, here's the example. And it says they're talking about bears. Find the regression equation. Best predicted weight with a bear with a chest size of 63. Use significance level of 0.05. Now we're going to enter these data into lists in our calculator. So I'm going to go to the calculator. And whoops, that was left over from the previous example. Let's see. So if I want to start out with lists that are empty, I'm going to first clear out list one and list two. So I'm going to go to clear list, uh, second L1, comma, second L2, enter, done. So now list one and list two are cleared out. If I go to stat, edit, I can enter these data. List three doesn't matter. Um, for list one, I wrote these down. It's a 58. Enter, 50. Enter, 65. Enter, 59. Enter, 59. Enter, 48. Enter, and then in list two, 414. Enter, 312. Enter, 499. Enter, 450. Enter, 456. Enter, 260. Enter. Uh, it's worth a double check to see if you've made a mistake in entering these numbers. Uh, let's see, uh, these look okay. Once you get those numbers entered, I'm going to go to stat, tests, and I'm going to go to linreg t test, which is down near the bottom. Now, Lindrick t-test will give us more information than what this question is asking for, but that's okay. So there's Lindrick t-test. Enter. The X list and the Y list should be L1 and L2. The frequency is 1. Uh, this is the form of the alternate hypothesis. We're not, we're sort of doing a hypothesis test. I'll discuss that momentarily. You want to save the regression equation in Y1 there for reference. Uh, if it's not already there, let me just review how to get Y1 in there. So let me clear that out. So to get a Y1 in there, go to VARS, arrow over to Y VARS. The first thing there is function, and then Y1, enter. That puts the Y1 there. I'm going to hit calculate. Okay, so this gives the T value. I don't think this question is going to ask for some of these numbers. We're going to write them down anyway. So the T, the test statistic is 10.4143415. The P value is this 4.8 times 10 to the minus 4. 4.8 times 10 to the minus 4. What that minus 4 does is actually put three zeros in front of that 4. So it's actually 0.00048. 0 0.00048. And here's the regression equation. The A, I'm going to write this down, is minus 411.707196. And the B, which is the slope, is 14.3399537. So the regression equation is y equals a plus bx as it shows up here. So it's minus 411.707196 plus 14.3399537x. Now we stored that in um, Y1. So if I want to see that, I can go to the Y equals here, uh, which I'm going to click on. 
and there is the regression equation stored in the y1 variable. Uh, we're not going to graph anything here, I don't think, so I'm going to go back to the homework question and see what it asks. What is the regression equation? Round to one decimal place. Okay, so the a was negative 411.7 negative 411.7 and the B was that 14.3 14.3 good job now the best predicted weight of a bear okay now this is a slight issue about the hypothesis test it said the significance level was 0.05 our p-value was that that uh, 4.8 times 10 to the minus 4, way less than the significance. When the p-value is less than the significance, that means that there is correlation. And so we can use the regression equation to do the best predicted weight of a bear with a chest size of 63. And so what I'm going to do on the, just as a comment about that, if the p-value were greater than 0.05, then the theory says we should take the mean of the given weights instead of using the regression equation. I'm not going to do that to you in these examples. So what I want to do is plug in 63 into this value for the regression equation. So it should be minus 411.7 plus 14.3 times 63. So let's see. I'm going to go back to the calculator and do that. So let me get out of here. Second quit. And on the home screen, I'm going to enter, where did I write that down? I'm going to enter uh, minus 411.7, negative 411.7 plus 14.3. So that's the regression equation. And for the x value, I'm substituting in uh, the 63, so I'm going to go times 63, and that gives me 489.2, 489.2, so when I go back to the homework, 489.2, uh, 489.2, 489.2, well done. Let's see. Is 489.2 close to 542? Uh, I don't think it's very close to the 540. I don't think they're very close. So I'm going to go for D here. Fantastic.